everyone, welcome back to Wild English by Teacher Lan. Today, you are going to learn about endangered species. There are two parts in this video. The first part, I will introduce you to 10 different endangered species. And the second part will be the classification of animals. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Enjoy this lesson. What is endangered species? Endangered species is a species considered to be facing a very high risk of extinction in the wild. Extinction is the act or process of becoming extinct, a coming to an end or dying out. What are the endangered animals on our earth? Monarch butterfly Did you know? Monarch caterpillar's only food, milkweed, is toxic to most other animals. Western monarchs have declined by more than 99% since the 1980s. Monarch butterflies migrate up to 3,000 miles. Monarchs, like most other butterflies, smell with their antennae and taste with their feet. Mountain Gorilla Did you know? As humans have moved into areas near mountain gorillas, they have cleared land for agriculture and livestock. Even land within protected areas is not safe from clearing in 2004, for example, illegal settlers cleared 3,700 acres of gorilla forest in Virunga National Park. Inside gorilla habitat in Virunga National Park, people harvest charcoal for use as a fuel source in cooking and heating. This charcoal production and illegal, multi-million dollar industry has destroyed gorilla habitat. Polar Bear Did you know? Due to climate change the Arctic is heating up twice as fast as anywhere else on the planet, shrinking the Arctic sea ice cover by 14% per decade. Fewer opportunities to feed polar bears rely on sea ice to hunt seals, rest, breed, and store energy for the summer and autumn, when food can be scarce. Sea ice now melts earlier in the spring and forms later in the autumn in the bear's southern range, like Hudson Bay and James Bay in Canada. As the bears spend longer periods without food, their health declines. Increased Arctic shipping represents a risk to polar bears. As traffic by barges, oil tankers, and cargo ships in Arctic waters increases, so do the risk of oil spills and human disturbance to polar bears. Leatherback Sea Turtle Did you know? Leatherback turtles are named for their shell which is leather-like rather than hard, like other turtles. They are the largest sea turtle species and also one of the most migratory, crossing both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Numbers of leatherback turtles have seriously declined during the last century as a result of intense egg collection and fisheries bycatch. Plastic has only been mass-produced since the 1940s but it's having a devastating impact on sea turtles. What do sea turtles eat? Unfortunately, they eat plastic bags, thinking that they are jellyfish. Tiger Did you know? An estimated 3,900 tigers remain in the wild, but much more work is needed to protect this species if we are to secure its future in the wild. In some areas, including much of Southeast Asia, tigers are still in crisis and declining in number. 
All remaining island tigers are found only in Sumatra, with tigers in Java and Bali now extinct. These are popularly known as Sumatran tigers. The continental tigers currently include the Bengal, Malayan, Indochinese and Amur, Siberian, tiger populations, while the Caspian tiger is extinct in the wild. The South China tiger is believed to be functionally extinct. Whale Did you know? An estimated minimum of 300,000 whales and dolphins are killed each year as a result of fisheries by catch, while others succumb to a myriad of threats including shipping and habitat loss. Warming oceans and loss of sea ice in the Arctic and Antarctic can affect the habitats and food of whales. Rhinoceros Did you know? Poaching and illegal wildlife trade, driven by a consumer demand for rhino horn primarily in Asia, poses the biggest threat to rhinos. Most of these horns find their way into the illegal market in Vietnam where law enforcement is weak and criminal networks grind up the horns to sell for use in traditional medicines or sell them whole as a high-value gift item. China is an important consumer market as well, where rhino horn enters art and antique markets and is sometimes acquired as an investment purchase. Penguin Did you know? Among the biggest threats to penguin populations is climate change. Warming in the polar regions has melted sea ice, which penguins depend on to find food and build nests. Rapidly changing conditions mean Antarctica could lose most of its penguins to climate change by the end of the century. To survive, they may have to relocate to new habitats. Crocodile Did you know? Many species of crocodiles are at the risk of extinction, some being classified as critically endangered. The most critical threat facing crocodiles is the loss and fragmentation of natural habitats. Humans have exploited crocodiles to the point of population crashes. Hunting remains a serious threat to crocodiles, as well as pollution. Elephant Did you know? Humans are to blame for the endangered status of elephants, the two main causes are hunting and habitat loss. Many African herds were hunted for their ivory tusks and their numbers have been decimated as a result. Though ivory trade is now illegal, poachers still kill for it. National Geographic reports that Asian elephants are still being killed for their skin to make jewelry and supposed medicinal cures. Habitat loss is the main cause of their declining populations. Humans use traditional elephant territory for farms and housing forcing elephants into smaller areas with less food and water. Classification of animals Number 1, Mammal Number 2, Reptile Number 3, Bird Number 4, Insect Number 5, Amphibian Number 6, Fish What is a mammal? A warm-blooded animal with fur or hair on its skin and a skeleton inside its body. Mammal mothers produce milk to feed their babies. Most mammals have four legs or two arms and two legs. Gorillas, whales, elephants, rhinoceros, polar bear, giraffes, tigers and humans are all mammals. What is a reptile? 
A cold-blooded animal with a skeleton inside its body and dry scales or hard plates on its skin. Most reptiles lay eggs with soft, leathery shells. Some kinds of reptiles live in water, but use their noses to breathe air into their lungs. Lizards, turtles, snakes, and crocodiles are kinds of reptiles. Most reptiles have short legs, but snakes creep on the ground without legs. What is a bird? An animal with two wings, two feet, and a body covered with feathers. Most birds can fly. Birds are warm-blooded animals with skeletons inside their bodies. Birds lay eggs with hard shells. Penguins, eagles, chickens, and ostriches are a few of the many kinds of birds. What is an insect? A small animal whose body is divided into three parts. Insects also have three pairs of legs and usually one or two pairs of wings. Insects are arthropods. Bees, ants, butterflies, beetles, and flies are kinds of insects. What is an amphibian? A small animal that spends part of its life cycle in water and part of its life cycle on land. Amphibians hatch in water and breathe with gills. Then they develop lungs so the adults can breathe air. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals with skeletons inside their bodies. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are amphibians. What is a fish? An animal that lives in water and has fins for swimming and gills for breathing. Fish are cold-blooded animals with skeletons inside their bodies. Most fish have scales on their skin. There are many kinds of fish, including salmon, goldfish, tuna, and sharks. What can we do to help protect the endangered species? Number one. Learn about how interesting and important the wonderful wildlife, birds, fish and plants are that live near you. Number two, make your home wildlife friendly. For example, reduce your use of water in your home and garden so that animals that live in or near water can have a better chance of survival. Number three, slow down when driving. Many animals die due to road accidents. So, when you are out and about, slow down and keep an eye for wildlife. Number four, recycle and buy sustainable products to protect forest species. Lastly, never purchase products or souvenirs made from threatened or endangered species. That's all for now. We have reached the end of our lesson. I hope that you will find this lesson useful and interesting for you. Till we meet again, stay safe, stay home, and please like, share, and subscribe my channel, Wild English by Teacher Life. Bye!